Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry on Friday signed an executive order protecting access to gender affirming health care. The services are given to people suffering from gender dysphoria. This executive order solidifies Minneapolis as a safe haven for transgender and non-binary people seeking or receiving gender affirming health care, Frey said in a, in a statement. We're in the business of helping people as individuals and communities. No matter who you are or where you're from, Minneapolis loves you and we will support you. The order defines gender affirming health care as all services, supplies, drug therapies, and other health care and other care that an individual may receive to support and affirm the individual's gender identity that are legal under the laws of the state of Minnesota as of the date of this executive order or any time thereafter. So we're getting a little bit of uh, paying it forward there. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, puberty blockers uh, or gender affirming care includes pu puberty blockers, hormone therapy, and or top and bottom surgery. Um, this article leaves out that it also in includes um, um, mental health therapy. I am proud to support this executive order, especially in light of the anti-LGBTQ rhetoric and policies and hate crimes we are experiencing in our country and state right now, said City Council President Andrea Jenkins. Yay! Oh, I hadn't got to that part of the article before. Andrea Jenkins. Ah. Oh. Council President Andrea Jenkins was on the Transgender Show, is a wonderful person, and um, is was the, the first person um, elected to a, um, a city government that is openly trans and was nominated to be council president unanimously. So she has a great deal of support. She's a wonderful person, a trailblazer doing wonderful work, and now she's there um, supporting this executive order. I, I would love to follow up with her and see how much she had to do with, with um, getting it through. The order won praise from some of the, the city's medical community, including Dr. Angela Cade Gepford, the medical director of the Gender Health Program at Children's Minnesota. I want to thank Mayor Frey for taking action to ensure healthcare professionals like myself can provide the comprehensive and compassionate care transgender and gender diverse youth in our community deserve. 